Hi, welcome to the virtual classroom. My name is Fahad Ali Khan. In this video, we'll, uh, we'll look at matrix multiplication. And there's a simple rule to uh, do this matrix multiplication, according to which if you want to multiply two matrices, then this is only possible if the number of elements in first row of the first matrix are equal to the number of elements of first column of second matrix. What exactly do I mean? Let's check an example on this. Uh, if I want to multiply um, a column matrix 1, 2 with uh, a square matrix having element 2, 1, 3, 2, then as I said the number of elements in first row of the first matrix should be equal to the number of elements in the first column of the second matrix. You can see that I have only one element in the first row, whereas I have uh, two elements in the first column. So this is not possible at all. Whereas if I change the order, if I change the order, if I take, uh, if I consider the, the, the square matrix first, if I write two, three, one, two, the square matrix first, and then the column matrix, then it becomes a possible case. How exactly? First, first we check as if, uh, give it a check that as if uh, it's possible or not. We are having two elements in the first row. We are having two elements in the first column. Uh, I mean, in the only column matrix. So uh, this is very much possible. They are having identical number of elements in row and column. So uh, when this gets possible, we can simply multiply this by uh, multiplying this two with one and one with two. Now just look at this multiplication step. I'm multiplying this first element 2 with the first element of column. So 2 into 1. We'll use uh, a plus sign. Uh, 1 multiplied by 2. Then we'll take, we'll go with the second row. Uh, uh, that, that is to be multiplied with the first column. I mean the only column. So we have 3 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So as a result, I get 2 into 1, I get 2, plus 1 into 2, I get 2 again, 3 into 1, I get 3, and 2 multiplied by 2, I get 4. So as a result, uh, the answer is 4 and 7. Similarly, if I want to add, if I want to add, uh, I mean, sorry, if I want to multiply 2 square matrices, I take another example. Uh, Let's multiply the same square mat matrix 2, 3, 1, 2 with another square matrix. Let it be 1, 2, 0, 1. Then we can do it. Uh, this is again a possible case because I'm having the same two elements in the first row. I'm having two elements in the column. So this is possible. How do we multiply? This is again a simple case. 2 multiplied by 1. It's again the repetition of the previous case. 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1 into 2. Similarly, uh, now I'll multiply this first row. As I have multiplied first row with the first column, I will now multiply the first row with the second column. So I get 2 multiplied by 0 plus 1 multiplied by 1. I multiply this 2 with the 0. I multiply this 1 with this 1. Similarly, I will be multiplying the second row with the first column and then second row with the second column. So when I proceed, I get 3 into 1. I get 2 into 2. 3 multiplied by 1, 2 multiplied by 2. Similarly, 3 will be multiplied with this, uh, multiplied by, uh, with this 0 and 2 by this 1. I do have a shortcut for this, but uh, I'll discuss it someday later. Uh, 2 into 1, I have 2, 1 into 2, this is 2, 3 into 1 is 3, 2 into 2 is 4. Similarly, 2 multiplied by 0, we get 0, 1 into 1 is 1, it's a 0 again and 2 into 1 is 2. So the final answer is 2 add 2, I get 4, 3 add 4, I get 7, 0 add 1, they remain the same and that's my final answer. I hope uh, you would find it useful in some way and uh, 
Thanks for watching. Uh, keep sharing my video. Uh, I'll catch you people uh, with, with some new stuff shortly. Thank you. Bye.